Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Nawal Yamul. So let us talk about Databricks certification and batching. So uh, Databricks comes with varieties of uh, certification. So first they are focusing on data analyst, uh, data engineering and machine learning. So we have, we know about the workloads that gives like workspaces on Databricks, like they have data science and engineering workload, machine learning. And the third is your SQL, that is SQL. But in community edition, we do not have that option. But once we register with the any cloud provider like AWS or Azure, you may get a SQL. So when you are looking at the certification, data analyst is all about your Databricks SQL. That is your third one, third point. And when you're talking about data engineering, so here we have two certifications. One is associate and the second is professional. And this is related to machine learning. And there are some special batches from Databricks. First one is your Databricks Spark Developer Associate. So that is a certification regarding Spark, Apache Spark 3.0. Okay. So if you want to give any of this certification, uh, so if you are focusing on data engineering side, this one can be mandatory if you are working on any project. And this one is also like important if you are working on the Spark projects. So if I click on any of that, so yeah, so it, it will it will show you all the details about that certification. So what does that certification is an introduction on that and how to register for that and what are the learning paths. So before you go to the Apache Spark developer associate, this is developer associate, you should mandatory complete what is Databricks Lakehouse fundamental accreditation. So this is a foundational certification. So you need to complete this. Uh, this is prerequisite for any other certification. So mandatorily you need to complete this fundamental and then proceed further. So if you look at the curriculum or syllabus of this Apache Developer Associate certification, there are these topics you can see. So understanding the basics of Spark architecture and applying the Spark Data Frame APIs to complete individual data manipulation tasks like how to select, how to rename, how to manipulate the columns, filtering, dropping, sorting, aggregating, joining, reading, writing, partitioning and data frames and working with the user defined functions and Spark SQL functions. We will be seeing, we will be seeing all this one by one and you can see the exam duration is of 120 minutes. There will be 60 questions that are based on MCQ, multiple choice questions and the questions uh, curriculum you can see uh, they are focusing 17% on Spark architecture and Spark architecture application may be 11%, 7 questions and your Spark data frame APIs are 72%. So majorly we are focusing on these like 43 questions out of 60. So the cost of this certification is $200. You can give this exam in Python or Scala. So we are like uh, our curriculum, we are focusing on Python and the validation. And if you want to do a self-paced training on that, you can go to Databricks Academy and register. So this is all about the certification on Spark Developer Associate. So let me show you Data Engineering Certification Associate. So Data Engineer Associate Certification. Let me click on this. Yeah, so you can read about this and what are the learning path? So first learning path is your Databricks Lakehouse Fundamental Accreditation. This is a basic mandatory one and yeah. So second is we are talking about Data Engineering Associate Certification. This is what we are talking about. So what are the curriculum of this? So you can see a detailed curriculum is given. So understanding how to use a Databricks Lakehouse platform and its tools. What do you mean by Lakehouse? What is its architecture and description benefits? Uh, so we are into like data science and engineering workspace. What do you mean by clusters, notebook, data storage, de delta lake? What are the new concepts of that? 
and table management and manipulation optimization. So we are building an ETL pipeline using an Apache Spark, SQL and Python. We are covering these all in our curriculum. We will be covering that. So relational entities, how to create a databases, tables, views, how to do ELT, like creating table, writing that table, cleaning the data, reshaping and all. And also we are going to see some part of uh, incremental data processing, like how to use a uh, structure streaming. And we will talk about autoloader, multi-op architecture and delta dive tables also. And uh, Databricks SQL, uh, simple touch on Databricks SQL and understand and follow the best pra security practices like unity catalog and entity permission. So this also comes with the MCQ question, uh, 45 MCQ question, 90 minutes. And these are your uh, topics and the weightage of that. This also cost you around 200. You can see expiry how you can prepare for the exam and some of the questions are here you can just have a look on the questions before you go for practice exam questions okay so this is about the data engineering associate certification thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you like the content please share it with your friends please subscribe to my channel Thank you for watching again. Keep learning.